Oh my gosh. Hey, Brittany. Brittany. Hi. Hi. Jacob. Hi. Hello. Christian. Josh. <laughs> Tiana. Hey. All right. So what are we doing today, Jacob? We're what we're going to try to start doing today. We're going to try to assemble our little Morse code kits here. And what's special about these kits, do you remember? I had to hunt to find them. These are the only ones that will allow you to do Morse code on 40 meters oh with a technical license. They have the right frequency. So both these kids here have technical license. Both those kids there do not because they haven't been studying. <laughs> so both these kids get the honor of having their own Morse code kits to build. And these two will get the honor of having something similar when they finally take their test. <laughs> All right, so. Again, show you what we got. I bought these little things. They worked really well the other day for six bucks a piece. Britain's got hers. Jacob's got his. I bought this nice little solder, soldering station for 60 bucks. Works really well. And so. Yeah. Jacob, beings, I have terrible vision. And I'm going to let you lead by the reading, and I'll try to assist with what knowledge I have. But this is going to be your two projects. This is, this is yours and hers, and I will assist you with what I can. So you get to solder. And the worst case scenario is if you screw up, it was only 12 bucks. We can always order another one as long as we don't destroy the crystal because he doesn't have any more. Yeah. He doesn't oh. have any. He doesn't have any more in that frequency, but it's just the crystal that's important. Okay. So we can just reorder them and then use the crystal we got. So not a big deal. All right. First steps we're gonna do is sort out all our parts and make sure they're in some semblance of order. How you doing? Sorting it by how it looks. Okay. <laughs> All I'll right. get into it, dividing my capacities and resistance. And all that stuff later? Yeah. Once we have all the sorting done, we'll come back to putting stuff on boards. We got everything laid out. But, but, um, they are just like color coded. And we have no idea what the colors mean because we've never done this before. So we are like perplexed and confused. Okay, so we decided to use a resistor calculator. There's one online, there's an app. Uh, you can do whatever you like. Um, still trying to figure out which, it looks like gold and silver are definitely colors that can be on the one side of the resistor or nothing at all. And then the other colors add up. Uh, it, we're still learning that. But anyway, there's a website called hobby-hour.com. H-O-B-B-Y-H-O-U-R.com and it has an electronics calculator. So what you do is you put the colors in on, on here from the drop down and then hit calculate. And for example, we had found one that was brown, black, red, and gold. And it told us it was the 1K, the one kilo ohm uh, resistor. So, um, and then when I put it in backwards, it told me I had it backwards. So, Right now, we're not going to learn all the logistics. We can just rely on the calculator to identify the parts. So what we're doing right now is Jacob is looking at each of these little resistors and he's writing down what the colors are of the resistors we have and which what values they match. So that's what Jacob's job is. <laughs> Perfect. It looks like silver again. Brown, silver, black, red. I don't think I did a single one that looked like that. <laughs> okay, Brian. Can I see that? Okay. <laughs> I'll give it back, I promise. He just he should be able to just look at it and then look at his and. I might be I think you're looking color. at a shadow. <laughs> so Jacob's got his all laid out nice and organized there. This is brown, black, red, gold. Okay. Oh, that's a 1K. Brown. Careful, she'll kill you. Yeah, it correct. is. All right. You remembered. Yes, that's the only one I remembered. All right, so that's a 1K. So now we're going to put that on the board where the board says 1Ks must go. Uh -huh. Can I see the board? 1K. It's an R3. Low, low. Everybody is in the wee box with the strings. Oh, my God, she's 
so floppy. How does he tell? <laughs> Uh, it is R, the 1K. Sorry for you. Oh, and the R3. board will say R3 on it? Yeah, it should somewhere. On the map, it's easier to see. On the map. On the R3. map. On the map. Stop. R3. R3. I found R1. There's R3. It's in the bottom again. left corner, right next to R3. All right. Right here. Okay. Now, now, here's the question. Does which side? Which way? Yeah, <laughs> does it matter which way? Um, it shows a circle, so it probably does. So let's Google that and find out. Now the next question. Now the next question. Does it matter which way you put a resistor in? So we're going to Google that and find out. Okay, so I had an idea, and it was it, this was so much easier. Just use a multimeter and measure the ohms with the two probes. So let's show this here. Ready? I'm gonna let you do the honors while I film. No, I don't know how. Just, just put it's it on. It's too much the size. It's too much. Work. Touch a one K. Touch each end. All right. One, one probe to one end and one probe to the other. With the needles. Yeah. I know. <laughs> With the pointy sharp things. I'm trying. All right. And give it a second. Um, hold on. Assuming she can, contact. assuming she can comp accomplish this. And so this one's coming out at 0.9876, so that's the 1K. Yep. Except she keeps moving it, but I'm basically sorry. that's the 1K. Grab another one. Okay. Just random. Okay. Is that, yeah, okay. Now let's see what we got here. As she touches it. This is a lot of pressure. This is the 466, so that's the 470. Yep. Uh, what's the colors on it, just to be sure? Uh, yellow, blue, brown? Yellow, blue, brown, something? It's yellow, like that. violet, brown, but yes. All right, so, forget looking at colors, just use a multimeter. <laughs> it's a lot easier for the visually impaired. Right here, there, on the first solder. Okay, that's probably plenty. Now just let it cool. It's probably too much. That's How do you feel having your first solder job? Good enough. Fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's not beautiful, but. Wow, you're oh. mean. <laughs> Is it not pretty? <laughs> I think Can you see it in there? Is it focusing? Yeah, it looks, looks pretty through the magnifying glass, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> through the magnifying glass, through another display, I suppose. All right, now we clip off those little ends. Okay, can I, I put this snack there? Is a yeah. Messy. A little bit. Right. Clip, clip, clip. Oh, here's the clippy clip. As I've been told, it's can called. I can I take yeah, it you off? can take it off. Seriously, yeah, but give me a good camera angle. Okay. Oh yeah. Um. <coughs> and then just clip it all the way down at the bottom. Oh, you got it's the cameras upside down. Okay. There we go. Maybe you have to go in a bigger bite. That should do it. I'm, uh, Put it it's got it. Okay, okay, good. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I would hope so. And this should just bend right up. Oh, that way do you, you want me to? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how this... There you go. Big bite. There you go. How's that look? Do you want to go ahead and clip that one more, or is it good? It's good. Looks it's good. It's fine. I guess. It's fine. You got okay. it. Yeah. yeah. It's like crooked. It's fine. Don't keep bending. You want me to take it? it? <laughs> <laughs> disappointed. All right. It's fine, Brady. You did good. All right. So now. It only took like two hours to do that. Next. All right. Get me All right. So that was her first resistor, and so. We're gonna now put on all our resistors and come right back to you. All right, so the capacitors, according to the little instructions here, are, whoopsie, labeled with these numbers, like 104, 103. Did you find one that said 103? Yes. Yeah, that one. 101, four of them, 470, so you found one that said 471? Yep. And 473, you actually found those numbers? Yeah. Yes, Doug, calm all right. down. 
and there are these little you don't trust orange me. guys. Now, when we looked it up, it said the little orange guy type capacitors are <clears throat> not do not have a polar polarity, and we can put them in any way. That's what it said online. So um, we will hope that that is the case because, yeah. <laughs> uh, when you assemble it. How does it? How does it sit? Does it sit like this? Does it? Sit yeah, it sits straight up, just like, like that? that. Yeah, that's how he had it. Yeah, so like this. Yeah, that's but how. Like he had when it. you're using the kit, what side? Is there a case that this goes inside of? Mm -mm. So it, we get to see all of this in its raw glory. Yeah. <laughs> we need a 3D printed case for this. <laughs> Alex wants a 3D printer, so. What to use him? Once he gets one, I'm sure you are. So now we're putting in the capacitors. Let's make sure this right one, 104 goes in C1. I feel like this should go. Yes. Is so 104 okay? goes in C1, let me see. Does that look okay? Yeah. Yep, then you solder it. So, yep, you take that and then you solder it. Okay. Oh God, almost fall. Do you want to go first or do you want me to? You go ahead. You go ahead. Oh. Okay, uh, Jacob is putting on, we got all the resistors on. Oh, let me show a picture of the board with all the resistors. So there's the board with all the resistors and we've got our first capacitor on there and it's not soldered Jacob. yet and Jacob is going to solder Why his first done? capacitor. And it's not the prettiest of soldering jobs. Yeah. But, you know, we're new to this. We're new to this. <clears throat> That's a little big on that side, but I think I should be okay. As long as it's not touching anything. All right. So Jacob has desoldered his first capacitor. And now we're gonna do all the capacitors. And now we're going to do all the capacitors and we're going to come back to you on the next step. And the capacitors are, are labeled. You just have to have really good vision, but they actually have the number on them as instructed on the piece of paper. So we're moving along. Jacob had to go home. He's going to pick up on his project in about two weeks and finish it up when he comes back. Um, and Britton has continued to work on her. She's got all her capacitors in place. And now she's putting in the inductors. And the inductors, unfortunately, unless you have a multimeter, uh, I don't think you can just normally, you can't measure inductance, at least not with this multimeter. I don't know if you can measure inductance with any multimeter. Um, so you will have to use an app, uh, this, unless you okay, want this says a thousand. to figure out the uh, inductance. That's right. So um, that's what we're doing now. We've got three inductors that go on this. They're little green things. They look like resistors, but they're green and uh, we're figuring out what, what they are so that we can put them on the board. What's wrong? This one came out to be a thousand and that's not right. So let me try again. All right, Britton has got all the inductors on. Show us the board with the inductors. All right, let's see if we can get the focus. Let's see, W1. What was that? I don't know. There's the board with the inductors on, the capacitors and the resistors. And one of the inductors didn't make sense. Uh, it said it was a thousand instead of one, right. according to the, le the stripes on it. Um, we checked Jacob's kit and it said the same thing. So they were all exactly the same parts. The other two inductors matched up what they were supposed to be. So either the instructions were wrong or they sent the wrong inductors in both kits. Um, That's good. Yeah. So we're just went with it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so now she's w1. putting on the bearable resistor. Where the heck is W1? I think that's it right there. Oh, why is don't I see it on here? W1's not there? Isn't that it right there? What's that say? It says W1. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I just so now show them what the variable resistor looks like. So this is what the variable resistor looks like. And so she's got to put that on, and it goes right pretty much dead center of the board. So Britton's going to put that right on now. Here. 